What's Hello, up, everyone. beautiful people? Today, we're doing everyone's favorite. We're eating at a 7-Eleven in the Philippines. Yes. yes, we've tried it all over Asia. Mm. So, of course, we had to check of it out course. here. Now, let's go on a little food tour. Let's eat. Finally, we are trying 7-Eleven in the Philippines. Now let's go inside for a little store tour. Let's, let's do a back. tour. Come with me. Come with us. Now this 7-Eleven is decently sized. There are definitely smaller ones and bigger ones too. But first, let's check out the food section. Oh, I need to get a basket. First things oh, yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Awesome. Look, let's go. Me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wow. So here is the cold food section. Ooh. Microwavable goods. You got your sandwiches, rice with meat. So much. You got jumbo sasig. Whoa. Ooh. I need to try this, right? Shall we put it in? It's Where quite do you heavy. even start? The variety <laughs> is insane. <laughs> Well, I absolutely love to see here, so I'm gonna try it. A small size. In it goes for 35 peso. 100% have to try a sandwich. Which one? At a 7-Eleven. Do they have an egg sandwich? They have a Hawaiian sandwich. Tuna and egg. Where? Right there, on your left. Hawaiian sandwich? What? That's crazy. What's in it though? Imported cheddar cheese. You got pineapples in it. Oh, that's crazy. And sweet ham. Unfortunately, you can't try that though. Definitely got to try an egg salad sandwich everywhere. Oh, what is this? It's rice and on top of it is pork shilmai. And I've heard that Filipinos love shilmai here. I will try this out too. Oh, so it's manam. manam. Restaurant. Wow, it's a biscuit. Bistec. Bistec. <laughs> Beef brisket? I'm no, assuming. it's beef steak, but they call it bistec. Oh, yeah. Oh, bistec. Sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> it's got a bistec. Over here, you got a drink station, cold drinks. Oh, oh look at this. They have a Copico coffee. I absolutely love this brand. Used to eat the candy all the time, those little black rectangles. I'll try that out. Oh wow, over here they also got a Mr. Donut. These are really popular in the Philippines as well. But unfortunately, most of it's sold out. So here is the huge variety of snacks. You've got stuff imported back from home. You've got Hershey's, Reese's. So we're at the grocery store, we already bought a whole bunch of Cloud9 snacks for the friends. But how does it taste? I think we should try one. Oh, they tricked me. What, the outer nips? Oh, pink they don't nips? have any of the pink ones oh, there. Sorry, no pink nips I in the tricky. Philippines. <laughs> Only brown nips here. <laughs> Look at this. Of course, you've got the slushy station. You thirsty? Gulp it down. Wow, these drinks look so good. Iced coffee. Mm. Cucumber lemonade? Whoa, I'd love to Sounds try them. Refreshing. Here is the bun section and a hot dog station. <gasps> they have a pizza bun. They have the pizza bun here from <gasps> Japan. Let's open this up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Amazing! In the Philippines, they don't let Delena get the buns because they know she will eat it all. Oh, oh I need to use some strength. A bit of elbow grease was needed. <laughs> there we go. Here are all the buns you can choose oh from. My God, that's pizza. So big. They're massive. All right, let's just get one since we're already here. So you got a pizza fowl, barbecue chicken, tuna cheese melt. What? You got the budget asado and a whole bunch of other things like bola bola chicken adobo. Oh, oh my gosh, adobo. I want the chicken adobo too. That's a big bow, it's so big. <laughs> That's a huge bow, babe. Yeah. I love the serving size here. Yeah, and of course we gotta get that pizza bun. Look at that color, so yellow. Yes, I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I like it a lot. Over here they also have a spicy hot dog station. The bread is at the top. Let me open it. Elbow grease. Steaming hot. Look at that. You got spicy sausages and regular hot dogs. But there's one thing I've learned about 7-Elevens is to never get the hot dogs because it is just too risky. Whole bunch of cold drinks here. Wow. Day drinking. So easy in the Philippines for very good prices. You get a Heineken in a can for 72 pesos. That is so cheap. That's less than $2. So they what only happens? had the three flavors. Okay. It was only the pizza pal, yep. bola bola, and asado. So uh, I just got all three. 
Okay. Yeah. That's good. I got a coffee, but I would like a soft drink that is specific to the Philippines. A cobra drink or a sting. I've been seeing these sting bottles a lot <laughs> everywhere, but I'm going to try the cobra. It's an energy drink. Oh, berry blast. Oh my gosh, I want to get this. Calamansi juice. That's insane. Hell yeah. You got Gatorade, Monster, vitamin water. C2, what's C2? Solar iced tea. Yeah, I'll get that. This looks good. Solar iced tea. Wow, look at that. How much is the soju here? 126 peso, which is like $3 <gasps> AUD. What the That hell? is pretty cheap. About four times cheaper than yes. back in Australia. You know, it's like $10 AUD back yeah. in Australia for one bottle. Oh, cup of noodles section. Ooh. Awesome. Oh my God. You got Shin Ramen. All time favorite worldwide. Worldwide all time you. favorite. You got yum yum tom yum noodles. Bulgogi flavor. Beef bulgogi flavor noodles. That's long shim. Oh, okay. <laughs> so get this. And a spicy one. Done. Let's go. Ooh. Move over here. It's the crisp section. Chips. Look at that. Non-stop supply. You got Chippy from Jack and Jill. Lumpia cereal roll. Oh, it's like an egg roll without the circle, the hollow. I know Oishi is a very popular brand here. Spicy flavor. Picatos. What's this fudge bar? Chocolate cream filled. This green one's really popular. Let's try this fudge bar out. Doughy donut. From the Philippines. Awesome. Now, there are a whole bunch of 7-Elevens in the Philippines. Central Manila has, I would say, every 10 minute walk, you'll probably see one, maybe 20. They're not as common as Japan, for example. We should try the um, Piatos. Remember the guy at the supermarket yep. recommended this to us? Piato goes in. So we should try. Here's the ice cream section. Look at that. You can buy a tub of ice cream here. That's insane. Look at this. Wow. Yo, who needs this much ice cream? Really liking the 7-Elevens in the Philippines. It's not the biggest, but it still has everything. I feel like it's a small store and they compact everything into it. I'll There's so say, much going on. It's not the biggest, but it's yeah. still better than Australia. <laughs> that is true. Cause it's just jam packed full of food in here. Oh, they got a bread section. Here it is. It's at the front. Look at that. You just got normal bread, like a loaf. You got this. Tomodachi's. That's Japanese. Tomodachi. Let's try this one. Okay. I remember Kelvin recommended that to us. This is the front of the counter here. A lot of people buying food. <gasps> this place is so busy. I see fried chicken. What? Oh my God. Fried chicken at 7 Eleven? Are you kidding me? That's absolutely insane. We're definitely going to order some. Yes. All right, I'm a little bit thirsty, so I'm going to try out this cucumber lemonade drink just because it just sounds so crazy oh so green oh yeah <laughs> so sweet tastes like a cucumber cucumber lemonade <laughs> which one's the, your favorite or you like to eat the good one <laughs> Oh, Beautiful. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, this is their favorite cup noodles from Nissan, which is a Japanese brand. It is a hot, creamy seafood. Let's try it out. It's not yeah. Filipino, but it's but a Filipino's it. favorite. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And then that's we'll a get lot the hot of food. food. We'll get the hot food, we'll get the fried chicken, we'll get uh, the lumpia and all the other items. Let's go. We're definitely holding up the line here. And she's like <laughs> laughing at us. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone is. <laughs> Make sure to bring your own bag if you're coming to 7-Eleven in the Philippines. They only give paper bags here. And that came down to 1,200 peso. And when she said that, everyone gasped in the background. <laughs> I guess it's a lot for a 7-Eleven. Thank you, 7-Eleven fam. Getting a picture with Elena. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome! To the 7-Eleven Filipino edition! Bigu Feast! Big <laughs> it has now, been a while. Look at how much food we've got. 1,200 pesos, which is less than 40 AUD. What Insane. a good price for this much food. Cutlery time! Finally, oh, this is the perfect time to use it when you're in a hotel and you don't have any cutlery. Cutlery, yes. 
First up, I'm gonna try my and chopsticks. Busog meal. Sisig with rice. Everything's hot. We had a microwave. We have yeah. right there. We have a microwave right there. Cooked everything up mm. to perfection. So mine is the beef stick. No, beef stick. Beef stick, beef stick. with pancit, which is the vermicelli noodles and rice. And this rice with sisig. We got a lot of sauces on the side too but I'm not sure what is for what anymore. So these ones here. Mm. That's the This is the sear pao sauce, which is for the buns. Interesting, they and have a sauce. And then we've got vinegar, which is for the spring rolls. <gasps> and then we've got the toyamansi. I can't believe toyamansi. they have toyamansi sauce, which is packeted, which you can use with um, mm. the chicken. Look at that, guys. And it smells it. so good. Cheers, babe. Cheers. I want to like show you the serving size of the mm. meat. It's so little. That is delicious. Oh really? Now it's not crispy, mm. but it has all the sisig flavors. Very meaty, porky. Oh, and a little spice. I would definitely get this if I was hungry, needed something to eat late at night. Sisig and rice. Oh, yum. Mine's not bad. It was a mistake, wasn't it? Um, interesting. The What's flavors that? are nice though. Noodles on the side. It's a very strong soy sauce flavor. The only thing is the beef isn't as soft. But otherwise, it's not bad. So it's like that. I mean, it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it's bloody delicious. Since I'm already up, let's get this fried chicken. Oh, that mm. fried chicken. Yum, this one has wings. I cannot believe they have fried chicken at 7-Eleven. I know. And a piece like this, with the bone and everything, comes with gravy as well. Mmm, it in. That hot steaming gravy. Mmm, oh, Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. Awesome. How's it compare to... Well, it's not as good as a fast food <laughs> restaurant. I mean, those are fresh. These have been sitting in that little heating box for a while. Mm. But it's still retained its crispiness and it's still very tasty. Well seasoned. A very good chicken for a convenience store. Mm. Oh my gosh. I have to try my pizza bun. Mm. Bola bola. Yes. It's so yellow. Mm. Outside, that is very sweet. Let's see, let's see it. Oh, is there a cheese pool? Oh, oh no cheese pool. It's not as good. It doesn't seem pan. very cheesy, this one. Interesting. Oh, wow. Got a little egg in there. A little oh. Chinese sausage. A lap chum. And this is kind of like a bao that you'll get back at home. This one is not bad, mm. but it ain't no Japan pizza bun, my true love. Mmm, can't beat the original, you know? I mean, if you've never tried a Japan pizza bun before, this you'll enjoy. It's not bad. Wanna try some? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Doesn't taste like a pizza bun. Yeah, it does. Yeah, the one in Japan when you eat it, you're like, wow, that's a pizza yeah. in a bun. This one tastes like a strange mixture. Try the um, Adola one. Adola. Asado. Sado, asado, asado. A budget bun. Oh, 30 pieces of meat in there. Oh. This one's pretty good. I like this one. Oh, nice. This so you delicious. like asado? Yeah, okay, asado. I rate it highly. I'll we'll wash it down with a bit of Cobra energy drink. Oh, the bola bola one is so interesting. This is good for my immune system. It's got ginseng, taurine, B vitamins. Oh, cherry berry flavor. Oh, it tastes like medicine. It tastes oh. like red starburst. Ooh, okay. I don't know how I feel about that one. I'm gonna try this. Ooh, tastes. Like calamansi. That's crazy. Pork bowl with siu mai. Bit of China in the Philippines. It's not so sour and From refreshing. Rice. How weird is this? 
the shiu mai, five pieces on a bit of rice. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen like, that before. You, you never eat shiu mai with rice. You see that, guys? Oh, that's there's another crazy. drumstick. Look how big this is. Yes, finally, some chopsticks. Oh, how I've missed you so much. Mm. There you go, guys. That's what the shiu mai looks like. Oh, yum. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. For 7-Eleven fried chicken, yes, I'll get this again. Shuma is good, but I don't need the rice. It's already got that outer layer. That's kind of like your carbs, so that's enough. Everything about it, there's so much rice with everything. Yeah, yeah rice mm -hmm. everywhere. Not a bad dumpling, pretty good. I like this. Gin's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fan. Best thing so far. Easily. Oh, my sushi is just as good as it. Mm. So that's a chicken spring roll. This is a good size, everyone. Very good size. No, put that away, put that away, put that away. It's better. No. Look at this. Oh, no. It looks so delicious. That's, it's over exaggerating. Bigger is better. No, it's not. It's amazing. Oh, really? It's fantastic. Oh. Perfect size. <laughs> and it's got a really good personality. Try that one. This one, goddamn, giant egg roll. Oh, wow. Mmm. 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 Get a close up on that. That looks amazing. Mm. I'm gonna show everyone. A lot of veggies in there. It is so greasy, though. Oh. It's insanely greasy. So. Oh! <laughs> Aww! I was gonna show you. What a bee roll! But it's got like beans, sprouts, carrots, beans, some sort of meat. Either like a maybe chicken or pork. Does it take, is it pork? Probably is. Everything here is pork. True, yeah. I think the Filipinos are made out of 80% pork, to be honest, <laughs> and 20% water and bone. What's this one? That's a chicken fillet. Chicken fillet. Oh, mm. not bad. They didn't have any chicken nuggets. A bit squishy. That's kind of like a chicken nugget. A little crispy and crumbled on the outside, and inside that chicken, very squishy. Can I try Almost this? too squishy. Ah! What? I need some drink. The spring roll or? Everything. Have an egg sandwich. Oh my god. Oh! That's crazy. Mm. Sando time. We always have to try a egg salad sandwich at every 7-Eleven. Just to compare. Obviously Japan is our number one when it comes to egg sandos. This one, I mentioned it earlier when I touched it, the bread was a little tough. Maybe it's been sitting there for a while, who knows? But that's what it looks like. What do you think? I like it. Mmm. Surprisingly good. It feels really nice. It's just the outside layer that's a little bit more tough, mm. but that's because they cut less of the crust out. So it's half of it still How's in there. How's the bread? Oh, the bread seems it's pretty soft. soft. Yeah. Mm. It's not bad, it's not bad. All right, it's noodle time for me. Delane is just enjoying her food. Still up to stage one. I'm I already. I like to slowly finish everything before I move on to the next one. I'm already hitting stage two. like to take a bite two. out of everything. This one is a chicken sotanghon, lucky me. <laughs> They're like vermicelli noodles, kind of very clear, small. That one looks cool. I want to try that one too, please. Love uh, vermicelli noodles. Oh. A lot mm. more bland than I thought it was going to be. Mm. It smells really good, but... Mm. It's not super flavorful. It smells really good. Yeah, That's for sure. Good. It smells amazing, but taste... It's diet. It's a diet instant. Cup noodle. What are we thinking? How do we feel? I think you have to mix it up. Try it again, really? yeah. Oh, okay. What's the flavor? Maybe not all there. I think it's pretty delicious. A really good snack. Oh, that's better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Didn't mix it up. I it's just really had nice. the top part, which was just pure clear noodles. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what is it? Chicken broth with garlic bits and chives. Yeah, I thought it was delicious. Not bad. Light chicken broth. Lots of flavor. This one has a fried instant noodle. It is also from Lucky Me, and it's bulalo, which is beef bone marrow flavor. It's kind of like that. Just your standard instant. Mix it up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the issue. We're not mixing up the flavors properly. I don't like this one. I'll get it again. Just tastes like a hotel nam yang. This one, but in a cup. Smells like maggi noodles. Oh, okay. Beef oh. broth, not bad. I'm Decent. I'm trying my spicy one. I got the spicy bulalo. 
Not bad. This one's a little bit better for me, but only because I prefer the fried noodles. Sun Homi. There you go, it's a beefy beef flavor. This tastes like noodles and gravy in one. Like the gravy that you get here, <laughs> and then they just put noodles in it. This one's okay. To be honest, all the instant noodles here are a little bit bland for me. Oh, not They're not jam-packed with flavor or seasoning, but the seasoning packets were quite small when we put them in. No. When you compare it to instant ramen from uh, Japan or Korea, the packet, it, oh, yes, they're true. like this big, you know, they go triple flavor, then they add extra cheese on top, powdered cheese and all these spices. Whereas this one was like a tiny little bit of oil and um, a small seasoning packet, which I understand it's a small serving as well. Just tastes like standard beef cup noodles. This seafood one was very interesting because we didn't actually have to do anything. We didn't have to put the seasoning in. It was mm. already all um, packed in with the instant noodles. And this was recommended by the lovely ladies at the 7-Eleven. Mm. They were very helpful. They, they were, were so, so nice. They asked for a photo after and asked for a channel. How was it? Oh, this one's good. Mm. Creamy, spicy, got a seafood flavor. Does it mm. taste like Tom Yum or no? No. It's getting hot in this room, babe. Oh. I am sweating bullets. We have to turn off the aircon because it's a little bit loud while yeah. we do this mukbang. It is pretty warm and in here now. And it is boiling hot. Okay, I had a bite of all the hot food. Yep. My favorite thing would definitely be the rice and sisi, mm -hmm. the fried chicken, which is very delicious. Is that all Filipinos eat? Fried chicken, rice, and pork? I feel like that's the staple. And gravy. There's so much gravy here, yeah. I love it. And this one, this bun, what was it called again? It's got the red dot. Asado. Asado. Asado is amazing. Mmm. 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 You're gonna try the lumpia? I'll give it a go. But it's greasy, I'll tell you that much. That is oh, packed with oil. Oh, because you're meant to put it in vinegar. Ah. Yeah. Tia, 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 tia. You do that while I suss the snacks. Fudge bar. Fudge bar with two E's and two R's. And it says, oh, bar. Sasarap. Mm. Ooh. I don't know. It's so oily. I'm clogged up. I ain't gonna lie. In the Philippines, my blood pressure is definitely extremely high and I've become a lechon, even though I haven't had lechon yet, which is sad. I've had variations of the pork, kawali, sisig, and other things, but not lechon lechon. Because lechon is popular in Cebu. Oh, so we haven't had a chance and we don't have the time to go to Cebu this trip. This trip, but we'll be back. 100% we'll be back to the Philippines because I absolutely love this country. We say this in every video. Yes. But literally <laughs> the people in the Philippines are so nice, so yeah, friendly. Yeah, they're the best. Uh, we haven't had any issues with anyone here. I've had no problems at all, whether we're in the nice areas or in the underdeveloped areas. Everyone has the same good heart and that's what I love about this yeah. place. They're so kind and I feel like they go out of their way to help us. Absolutely love it. If you are unsure about the Philippines, I definitely feel like you should visit. It's, it's a beautiful place. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. I hope after this series, people will be more open exactly. to visiting the Philippines because it is such a beautiful country oh with good food, nice amazing people and everyone here just feels like they're our friends you know they're so supportive you know i realized that when we were filming the 7-eleven tour before those ladies were so supportive yeah. of our filming you know they didn't even know who we were <laughs> they didn't even know that we were youtubers or if we had a following whether it be a lot or a little hmm. they didn't care they just wanted to to help us out, be in the video. Yeah. They're very interested and that's what's really nice. They're very welcoming. So I highly recommend this country if you want to visit Asia. Philippines has to be on your list. You know, it's it's definitely a top five in Asia for me. It's yeah. so fun and I definitely will come back. And plus there's like so many other things you can do. You don't have to just go for restaurants and stuff. There's also the islands you can visit, do right. all the water activities, relax if you're kind of, if you prefer that kind of holiday or if you prefer the city kind of holiday where you're always moving around, there's lots of shopping malls, big department stores here as well. So there's a lot to do depending on what you 
want to do. What I love about the 7-Eleven videos is that we can just chat to you guys, talk about our experience in the country that we visit hmm. and just go over it because we've been here for over a week now so yeah. we kind of have a small grasp of what the country is like and it's good to let you know. And the snacks are a good segment because we get to try bits and pieces and know what the best snacks are so we can bring it back home for our family and friends. Mm. This one, the fudge bar, otherwise known as the fudge bar. Oh, it has, mm. it's cream filled Yum. inside. Cream filled, coconut and cream inside. This is lovely, mm. I'm gonna get more of these. Next up, the cloud nine bar. Classic, kind of like a Snickers bar, but a lot more thin and small. <laughs> this is a diet Snickers. Another thing about the Philippines is there are really nice areas like the area we're in now, mm. which is well developed. And there's also poorer areas, just like most Asian countries. Whether we were there or here, it didn't really matter with the people. They were all still really cool and kind. Yeah. But when you do go to the poorer areas, you do get more beggars. Yes. And Kelvin, our tour guide, taught us about like, there's a syndicate, you know, they work for the gangsters and yes. stuff like Even that. Even Jody, who lives in the yeah. Philippines, told us not to give any money, instead give food. Yes, exactly. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, the only time we give money is when they're not begging. That's the only time we give money. So you gotta watch out for that. And also we tip a lot of people here as well, like all the you know, hotel oh. workers or the taxi and grab drivers. We like to just give a little bit extra. Mm. This bar, kind of like a Snickers, but like lower kind of quality, not so sweet. It's not bad, but it's not like creamy or sweet enough, I feel like. It's very eggy. It's probably my least favorite for today. I'm now trying BW Super Bake Shop Hopia Ube. Now, Kelf said these were very popular in the Philippines. They kind of look like mooncakes. Oh, no. No, they look like pineapple cakes. <laughs> wow, look at that. Very heavy, Ooh. very dense. Mmm. Oh. Hmm? That's a thick boy. Taste wise, it kind of has that mooncake texture, you know? This is the doughy donut. How's it? It's doughy. Mm. That's for sure. What were your favorites out of all the hot food? Definitely the chicken. Fried <laughs> chicken is number one. Then I liked my... Me steak. Bistec and the cup noodles. Those oh, were right. delicious. I'd eat that good. Oh, I forgot about this chicken over here. It's too far away from me. It's pretty good. Crisps. I feel like Filipinos have really good chips here. These are yeah. clover chips. I want to try the chips. And these were recommended from a grocery store worker in the Philippines. Oh, wow. They're like that. Can you see it? Almost like a small prawn cracker. They look pretty good. Oh. How are they? Very good. I'm a fan. I want to try, I want to try. Snacks like, look really good. I like the texture. I like the crunch. And barbecue flavor is really nice too. Mmm. Oh, cool. You like um, crunchy things. So I love this it. texture. It's just light and crunchy. Mm. Very airy chips. Yummy. After that, we have the Piatos cheese flavored chips. Not sure if you'll like this since it's This was very popular though. As soon as we asked, oh, you know, what's the best Filipino snack? Everyone pointed at piatos. Not super cheesy smelling. Lightly flavored. Can I try this one? This one's okay. It's like a baked. It's like a baked cheese chip. Not super cheesy, I don't mind it. That one is okay. Not bad. I like these better. And the last thing for today is the lumpia Shanghai cereal roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they come in packs of three and they're like small tiny bananas. Cute, oh my gosh, I've seen these snacks before. Oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so corny. <laughs> oh. oh. It is hollow inside. These are good. Yum. These are so good. Yeah, these are surprisingly good. Really sweet. Kind of uh, like a Cheeto. 
And I love, I love the feeling when you bite into it. Warm. That was good. We'll bring some mm. of these back for sure. Yeah. Wash it down with this Tropico Lucky Day drink. This coffee drink in milk. Mm. This will be my dessert. Did you try everything already? Yeah. Mm. What's your favorite? Oh man, it's so strong. Mmm. Oh, this is bomb. Very flavorful and not super sweet. I was expecting something very sweet, but it wasn't. That was a really good selection of 7 Eleven foods. Yeah. Uh, in the Philippines, I feel like convenience stores aren't as big as Japan mm. or Hong Kong, for example. I only saw like a few people go in to eat ice creams. Oh, but and some like, people or ordered hot the hot food as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just like come in and out though. But I mean, if you're gonna get some fast food or something quick, go to Jollibee, get Macca's. I mean... So much better. Well, I mean, you yeah, can get there's... fried chicken from those restaurants. Or every yeah, restaurant, true. to be honest. But that's why it's for convenience. If you're next to the 7-Eleven and you're feeling hungry, or you're like, hey, you know, grab a quick bite, then get it. We'll do a recap of our whole trip. Okay, let's go. So we landed and we stayed at the Peninsula Hotel, and that was very interesting. Decent location. Yeah. Oh, there were cockroaches at nighttime. Yes. That, that spooked you out a lot. Didn't like you that. hated that. I feel like all the nice hotels are surrounded by shopping malls. Mm. For example, this one is surrounded by four shopping malls that all kind of connect a little bit. Yeah. And in Peninsula on the first and second day, there were so many shopping malls there. But that was more high end. A there's lot more There's always something to do, I feel like. You just like walk out of your hotel and then there's just something to do. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And we also visited the Dampa Seafood Market, which I really, really enjoyed. That was a mad put it out shop. there that must visit when you go to the Philippines because I want to go back there already. Yeah. But we don't have enough days here. We went to Boracay the third and fourth day. Mm. And that's when I realized how beautiful the islands are here. I loved Boracay. I the really bars, loved Boracay. The bars, the water. Yes. Oh my God, everything was crystal. I loved it. It um, makes me want to visit all the other islands as well. Like for example, Palawan, I heard that was really popular. So I want to check that out next time. Gotta go to Cebu. Yeah. And there are a thousand islands here, so we should yeah. check out a few next time. Although we don't love water activities. Yes, that's so, another thing. We're not water people, which works out for us yeah, because yeah. it's not like, oh, you know, you want to do scuba diving or parasailing and all those things. I'm like, nah, we both are not interested in it. That's uh, why it works out. Yeah, we're fire type Pokemon <laughs> and our weakness is definitely water. We yeah. can't swim. I, ha I can only swim one lap and then I start to drown. Delana jumps in, she drowns straight away. So we're not good on the deep end. Mm. Mm. And then the next two days we spent here. Pretty Present much. City, yeah. Yeah. Which I've also been loving. Like I just love the chill vibe here. It was nice that we got to experience, you know, both sides of the Philippines. I really like Chinatown and meeting all the stall aunties. Mm. The people there were so cool. And then also going to the nicer areas too. There's so much security in the Philippines, especially when you stay at the nicer high-end five-star hotels. And remember, when I say five-star hotels, they're a lot here, but they're quite affordable. Yes. It's not super expensive. Compared to like Australia or America yeah. or Japan even. In Australia, so. a five-star hotel would cost you about three, 350 three, AUD. Three to 500. <laughs> yeah. In the Philippines, it's $150 for a really nice five-star hotel. Yeah. And there's so much security everywhere. They don't just chill around the hotel. They're on the streets, they're on the sidewalks, they're where the malls are. When we mm. stayed at the peninsula, it was um, a lot like that. We felt really safe as yeah. we were walking around. You always feel safe here. I think if you're traveling to Asia for the first time, Philippines is definitely a really awesome place to go to because number one, the people are so nice. They're willing to help you with directions. Everyone can speak English or a majority can, which is yeah, huge. Everyone. Because countries like Japan, Hong Kong, Korea, they hardly speak a lick of English. So it's so good that the Filipinos know English. It's just great. You can ask for directions. You can ask where this restaurant is. Yeah. You can be like, where's my hotel? Mm -hmm. It's such a good place to be. Yeah. Amazing there's, food, there's high quality. There's a lot quality. of tourists here as well. So it's just good to see yeah. a lot of people traveling again, especially, you know, after COVID and all that. You do have to wear masks everywhere though. Right. Which yeah. is all right. The Nothing bad has happened to us. I feel like the only bad thing that happened was 
we went to KFC and it said it was open 24 seven, but they only served us chicken. That was the worst thing that happened here. That is honestly the worst thing and it was food related and not important at all. Otherwise we've had no dramas. I, I love this country. The Philippines, you're amazing. I really love the accent too when they speak English mm. and they're like, thank you, bye. Mm. I really, I'm starting to really enjoy that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the Philippines was the perfect choice for us coming back into yes. the travel vlog, somewhere new and exciting for you guys to watch. We wanted to go back to Japan, yeah. but I'm so glad that the Philippines was our comeback because yeah. it was amazing. And it's a new experience for all of us, you know? Yeah. So we get to experience for the first time and those who haven't been can also see it with us. Yeah. So it's been amazing. And I'm just glad we can share these adventures with you and hopefully you will be inspired to also travel. Yeah. I highly recommend the Philippines. It's a lovely country. The people are amazing. I've said it 10,000 <laughs> times. Yeah. And that's the most important thing to me. Genuine, nice, kind people. And this country are full of them. I will definitely come back and I highly recommend it to you guys. Oh, too. we're definitely coming back. Thanks so much for watching the 7 Eleven Filipino mukbang feast video. We had so much fun. Try out 7 Eleven Philippines if you enjoyed any of this food. And we'll see you next time. Definitely get the snacks. Take care. Love you long Bye. time. Bye. Salamat. They don't really do this, but. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye.